In this quick tutorial, what I wanted to do was to discuss a case that I saw earlier today. This maxillary molar was referred for a consultation, and a previous root canal therapy with a lateral radiolucency was present around the mesial root. So this patient recalls that the RCT was done around 10 years ago through a crown, and that the axis was now filled with a composite filling. The tooth was uh, clinically asymptomatic, but the patient recalls a history of symptoms to chewing around the tooth. Now, surprisingly, no probing was present uh, when I tested it. No distal buccal and palatal root radiolucencies were also observable on the radiograph, so it seemed to be localized to the mesial buccal root. Whenever I see this long J-shaped type of a lesion, I'm always thinking that there is a high chance of a potential root fracture. Now, keep this in mind that this is not a 100% rule, and sometimes a lateral lesion or a sulcular sinus tract can mimic this look. So since the crack cannot be validated radiographically, either by regular x-ray or a CBCT, you need to judge the patient's level of motivation for saving their tooth to decide what's the best course of action for them. This patient was very motivated, and while deciding whether a non-surgical or surgical approach was the best, I chose a non-surgical approach since the access through the crown was previously made and it was just filled with composite, and getting back into it had little risk. So here the MB2 had been found and treated previously. However, after the access through the filling and identifying both the MB1 and MB2, at higher magnification, a long vertical crack line was visible entering the MB2 canal through the scope. Now, uh, as a result, a fracture was quickly validated and extraction was recommended. This case demonstrates the importance of uh, treatment planning. Here, the crack line was very small and a CBCT wouldn't have shown it anyway. So, in some cases, a missed MB2 can create a similar lateral or sulcular sinus tract that mimics this kind of look. So, we need to visually be able to validate these types of cases. Of course, it's possible that a probing, if I had probed harder, I would have uh, seen that there is probably a probing present as well. In summary, uh, find that the pa what the patient's priority are and always validate the crack and don't just judge by the radiograph alone. A J-shaped lesion is very often associated with a root uh, fracture as it's shown in this particular case, but this tip is a general guideline and not a 100% rule. So always use your judgment and magnification tools, but when you see a crack that has entered the orifice of a root canal, be sure to recommend extraction. These things don't have a very good prognosis. All right, see you in the next quick tutorial.